Well, our smash book is almost done. I still don't know what I'm going to put on the cover. You may not see that until I have it completed and ready to list in my shop because I haven't decided yet. But I'm going to show you how I bind it. I already punched some of the holes so that you didn't have to watch me do all of that. But I left the back cover. This is the Zutter Bind It All, which I use to bind books with the, with the wires. And it comes with this little booklet, which I lost a page out of it. So my book, my cover measures 10 and a quarter inches. So I'm going with the page that says for 10 inch covers and not the 10 and a half. So 10 inch covers punch 18 holes and it tells you after you push the um, punch the first set of holes and then it says to go to hole number 5 and then 11. So you punch your, I'll, I'll show it to you, but you punch your initial six holes and then you go to the fifth hole and then the eleventh hole to complete this. But I will show you what I'm talking about. I took the front cover and pick it up and put it in so that the bottom is is in here. And on the side here there are markings and the C is for cover. So I move this little notchy thing to the C because I'm going to punch my cover. So that keeps the board from coming out too far. It keeps keeps it so that it's the right distance from the end. And then I slide my board in here and pull the lever, pull this lever, and punch the holes. And then it says to go to the fifth hole. So you've got with the first punch you have six holes. So I go to the fifth hole and there is a little notch here. So I fit this notch into that hole. I pulled this forward again. It's not on the C anymore. I pulled it forward and then slide this in again and find the fifth hole and just, oops, sorry, fit that right into that. Can you see the, the black coming through? And then I would punch it again and I would come out with five more holes because the sixth one was being repunched. Because if you if I went to the sixth hole and punched, there would be a gap right here. There, there would not be a hole there, which would be a problem when you go to put your wires in. And then it said to go to the eleventh hole, so I did that and then I had my eighteen holes. So, since I've explained it, I'm going to do the back cover. So I have the back cover facing right right side. This is the top, this is the bottom. And again, I pick it up and put the bottom in here. Wait, I want to make sure I'm doing it right. Because when you put it together, you take your back cover and you flip it. Okay, here's the back cover. This is what it would be like all put together. And pretend the wires are in it. I just flip it around to the front like that. And this is how I'm going to bind it, and I will show you why. So I'll take this this corner right here and put it in here. Again, I move this to the C. Okay, it's notched in there. There's a, a lever back here to pull out to, to help you balance, because if you didn't have that out, this thing would tip when you go to punch. So I put this right to the end, right there, and this prevents it from sliding out further. And I have to stand to do the covers because they're tougher. These are book covers. Okay, so I'm going to pull the lever down. Pull this out of the hole. And I have six holes. So I'm going to go to the fifth hole and push this into the hole. And it's notched in there good. And I hold this steady. You don't want, because it can tip. And then you ha then your uh, holes are punched, like going off the board or something. So make sure you hold it straight. And then pull the lever again. And now it says to go to the 11th hole. 
And I know the 11th hole is this one, the last, next to the last one, because I already counted them. So I will put that in there, make sure I have the 11th hole. Well, I'm going to count now. Well, that's not right. Yep, I had it in the last hole. There, it's in the 11th hole. And punch. I've had books so thick that once I get the paper wrapped around them, I could hardly get them in here, and then it tears the paper, and I had to patch it. And it was so tough to punch that my husband had to do it for me. This book wasn't that thick. Okay, so that's the back cover, the front cover, and then I do five pages at a time, and I did two sets of them. And now I'll start with this. So I'll take this one. These are all... Now this one is short. So I take this one. Let me get let me get this one done for you. There's a, a mark right here. So I want to line my the edge of this up. It's going to the holes are going to be here. So I want to mark line this edge up with that mark. And then punch. And then the fifth hole so I don't have a gap. So it goes all the way from the bottom to the top so that when I have this in the middle of a page, the wires will catch all those holes. I will remember where this was, and I might even move it. I'm, I have to make sure the pockets are spaced out well. But I remember if these little things that I take out and punch, I remember where they were so I can put them back or I try to remember anyway. So I've got one, two, three, four, and I have an envelope, which is a little bit smaller, but I'm going to punch it anyway. I don't put it, I don't put it all the way to the end. I want it in the middle like that. And I try to keep it that way. If you're um, uncomfortable with that, you can do it separately like I did the other one. So, for the, for the pages, I don't go to the C marking, I go all the way to the, to the back, to the, where it's open, it says D. It says inner pages right here. So then I will put this in there, and pull the lever, and then go to hole number five. And pull the lever. And then hole number 11. And then we have three more pages. Whoops, I gotta put this back in there. Okay, well, this went off. I didn't hold it steady. So let me show you what we can do with these. And I won't do them all on camera. That's the trouble with doing five at once. If you make a mistake, they all have the mistake. But here's what I would do. I would take a strip of paper and just glue it. You know, not this big, but maybe an inch or so, even a half inch, but probably an inch, and glue it there and punch it again. And you can do it to the back too. Punch it again, and you have a little decorative strip there, and your and your um, holes will be okay. So I will do that off camera, and I will try. I will stand up to do these three so that I can hold them better. Okay. So I open this all the way. At least you saw me make a mistake and know how to fix it, right? I've done it before, and I fixed them before. And I'll show you another mistake I made before I turn the camera on. And 
There, those are better. What I did before the camera was turned on was with the first set of pages, I put it in the 12th hole instead of the 11th, and so there was a gap. So then I had to put it in the 11th hole and punch it again. But when I did it in the 12th hole, it made a punch way up at, way up here. Can you see it? Way up at the top. So that's just going to be an extra hole on four of the pages because one of the pages was a short one and that doesn't go all the way up. So the first four of the first five pages, well, maybe not. That one doesn't. One, two, three, yeah, four of the first five pages have an extra hole at the top, but that's not a big deal. So I will have to correct where I went off the paper with the holes, and then I'll come back to show you how I bind. <laughs> 